Hello everybody, this is going to be a video that tells you how to use VNC to control your computer from your iPod Touch. Now for this, your iPod Touch does not have to be jailbroken, but if you want to control your iPod Touch from your computer, it does have to be jailbroken. Now to start out, go to Google and search VNC download and click on the first link. Alright, and then click free edition unless you want to pay for it okay you don't have to enter any of this information you just hit proceed to download and then for windows you are going to click download the executable and agree to the terms and conditions yeah, yeah whatever okay so agree read them and agree to them download and then save it to your desktop so save to your desktop I already have it saved so I'm not gonna save it okay so cancel that and then you will have a little icon on your desktop that looks like that so run that alright run continue okay next I agree. Next, 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 next. Okay, next. Install. Alright, it'll install. And then once it's done installing, this little box will come up. Exit out of that for now. Next. Finish. Okay, you have now installed it on your computer. Now, go into, go into your, your iPod App Store and search for VNC and download either Mocha VNC Lite or Mocha VNC which is uh, six dollars now I currently have Mocha VNC so you go to open it and you'll see this and hit connect alright then you should see all this stuff here just put your iPod down for now now for Vista and just I searched it because I couldn't find it so I'm going to click the button that says configure VNC service run VNC server right there run VNC server and then you should get a little icon down there that has that little VNC thing so once you have that go down to it and right click and click options then you will get this now you want to click on password authentication and click configure and then you are going to type your password. I'm going to make mine a five. Let's just do let's just do one, two, three, four. It could be anything. It doesn't really matter. And then okay, okay. And then make sure that's checked or clicked or whatever. Then hit connections. Now see which is accept connections on port. And it says 5900. Or it, you're just like 5900. Change it so it says 5920. And these two will also change. The uh. uh Second two, they will also change. Once you're done with that, hit apply and hit OK. Now, uh, scroll to the bottom, and it, it may say VNC server not accepting connections. Okay. All right, it says not accepting connections. So double click on it and make sure your connections are at 5920. If they're at 5920, try changing it to 5900. Alright, maybe that, that might work. I'm not sure. Hit apply. Okay. And then scroll over it again. It will say VNC server in parentheses user, then colon, and then an IP address. You want to enter that IP address into the, that server, into that field right there. So I'm going to enter it one second. So enter it there. Okay. And then if you change the VNC server port from 5900 to 5920, make sure you change it on here to 5920. So click on it. And if we're going to change it to 5920. So it's 5920. And this is the password that we set up. And I made mine 1234. 
So we'll put one, two, three, four. Then the name, that's just what it would save under. So type in the name, I'll type J. Okay. And then if you're running Mac OS X, you turn that on, but I am not. Save password on. 32-bit color mode. I do not know what that is. Mouse. Um, so once once you put all that in, hit connect. And it'll say VNC negotiation. And then the icon down there will turn black. And then if you leave it to load, you now have access to your computer. So see. Uh, so let's see. If you open the start menu. And here, the start menu opens on your computer. So that's good if you're like, have your computer on and you're downstairs or something and you want to turn it off, you just go on your iPod and turn it off. It's pretty cool. So it's not too hard. Um, so, to, all right, now I'll do a quick video for how to access it, access your iPod from your computer. Now what you want to do is go on to Cydia, then go to search. And search V E E N. Then download this Vinci. And this does not have an icon, so you will not have any icon for that application. Once you have that downloaded, go onto your computer and open the, your desktop icon VNC Viewer for your server. That's your IP address on your iPod. So to find that, go into your settings menu. And hit Wi-Fi. Not mm, sorry, not data. Wi-Fi. And then the little arrow next to it. So type that in right there. So one second, I'm gonna type it in. Okay. So after you type that in, you are going to hit OK in your iPod. Accept connection from, and then a uh, IP address. So you were going to hit accept, and then you will be up on your iPod on your computer. Now, what I do not know how to do is I do not know how to get back to the home menu besides hitting home on your iPod. And that will obviously change it, and then you could just mess around with it and do whatever you want with it. So please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.